Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. Mini size cup espresso, very nice. Today I'm going to talk about a pen that I have looked at and coveted for some years and those nice chaps at Conway Stewart have lent it to me. If you saw the unboxing last week you'll know what it is. If you haven't, you won't. So what is this wondrous thing? Some years ago I had a good time and I decided to invest in this which is a Conway Stewart Drake and the reason why I loved it and I still do were twofold. The first is it's heavy, it's solid silver, it actually weighs 86 grams without any ink in it and when I open it up and you see that just beautiful nib with the little gold diamond in the middle because the nib is solid gold and it's been coated in I'm not sure what rhodium or something to make it look silver but this pen feels superb it writes wonderfully well and it is one of my favorite pens of all time I use it as often as I can which isn't sadly often enough so I have always rather liked silver pens and then last week those nice fellows at Conway Stewart sent me this. Wow! This is not a pen for the faint-hearted it has to be said. This is a pen for people who really want to appreciate a pen and use it regularly but not a pen for the people who want to use it regularly enough to take it out with them because it is a significant pen. I actually did a bit of weighing and measuring and I was surprised to find it only weighs 58 grams. My Drake is 86 grams, that's significantly heavier. And when I was looking at other fountain pens I have my Michael Jex which is more or less a Winston that itself weighs 53 so almost as much as this so what is this pen let's have a look at it it's made by Conway Stewart but in collaboration with Henry Simpole who is a silversmith who specializes in these special castings that go on to imitation 1920s type pens. That's what this is. So what Henry Simpole does is he gets a flat sheet of um, of silver and then he etches into it the design that he wants. This one of course is the design of Marilyn Monroe. As you can see as I just roll that round there she is in a fairly iconic pose and on the cap there are musical symbols and Boo boo, be boo, be doo. That's from uh, Some Like It Hot when she sang a little song. And it was an extremely good film, and it's just typical that Conway Stewart would want to bring it out. Okay, so what is the about this pen that I really like? First is, I do not consider this to be a pen that anyone in their right mind would take out with them every day for use at work. This is a pen that would sit quite happily on the desk. On a little desk holder like this and that means I've got one simple modification which I did as soon as it arrived which is I unscrewed the cap and removed the clip and then it becomes just a gorgeous desk pen. I have been using this every day for the last I don't know how many days since it arrived I thought when it first arrived that it looked rather tacky. The pictures I took made it look rather tacky I think. But I defy anybody who likes writing with a pen to consider this as tacky because that nib is sheer perfection. It's one of the Conway Stewart bespoke pens flag nibs. You can see that it's got the Union flag there and it's a medium. It writes 
just superbly. It really does. I did say I'd written a fair amount. Well, this is Tomo River paper, and you can see how many pages there are just looking through it quickly. What sort of quality? What I love about this, this nib is that it gives superb flex. So every F that I bring out has a good thick background to it. When I'm doing a G or anything, then I get perfect fat lines vertically. It just works stunningly well. It doesn't matter what colour ink you use. This is not the same pen, this is. It works superbly, absolutely superbly, and not just superbly, it just looks lovely on the page. So again, if you want no pressure on the pen, it'll produce nice fine lines. As soon as you increase the pressure, you get these fabulous fat lines. It's a very wet writer indeed, works beautifully on William Hanna paper. Basically, it's just a wonderful, wonderful writer. So let's just look at the pen itself. Right, first of all, cap, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, they're just plain, unadorned bits of really good dark acrylic. And then they've got these solid silver sleeves that fit over the top. Here, you can see there's the assay marks to show that it's solid silver and it shows all the other stuff you'd expect on an assay mark. I don't know what it shows, but apparently it shows it's legit. Same down here. I think that's a Henry Simpole stamp. And then it just says number six. So this is number six of a limited edition run. When you get inside it, remove the cap. You set certainly cannot post this and you wouldn't want to. It would be far too heavy and um, top heavy basically. Writing with a pen that's as fat as that looks as though it wouldn't be at all comfortable but it's got a lovely taper down to the nib and where it is there it's only, and I'm just looking at my notes, about one and a bit centimetres diameter. It is, believe me, really comfortable. Not only comfortable, it's enormously efficient because when you're writing, the ink just gushes from this. It's magnificent. Now there is a downside to that, which is a medium nib like this, and I can vouch for this hand on heart, will write about eight pages of A4. No more. I know because I've used this extensively and I've refilled it four times. But does it matter? No, not really. This isn't a pen that I would be intending to write an entire novel with. How does it work? Well, basic, simple cartridge converter so you can suck up any colour ink you want. Just move that and it sucks it up. And if you want to, it'll take a standard, industry standard cartridge in there as well. Sorry, I've cleaned it out just now, having finished using it, and it's squirting water at me. Never mind. So, quick and easy to fill. Perfectly convenient if you really wanted to take it out and about with you to be able to fill it with a cartridge. I've used it, as I say, extensively. Whoops. I can vouch for the fact it works just superbly. If it's got any ink in it, it will write, and it'll write really well. So what do I like about it? I really, really like this silver work. Henry Simpole is reckoned to be about the best silversmith working with pens and this is just a beautiful example of his art. I love the weight because it's not too heavy and it feels good. It feels just right in the hand for me. I can write quite happily holding it 
way back, I can write very happily holding it at the front. It works either way, doesn't matter. It's perfectly happy however you want to hold it. And that's good because it means you can change your writing, you can change your hold on the pen as you, as you work. That makes it much more useful for extended periods of writing. I really like the fact that the clip can come off so easily because it is just... I, I think the clip is unnecessary. It is something that a lot of people would expect, obviously. But um, I'm much happier with it. A, a device like this, I would use it much more as a desk-bound pen. And so it doesn't need the clip. It's heavy. It's solid. It's superb. It, have I got any criticisms for it? Possibly just the one, which is... It takes about four turns to be able to get the cap off, which is a lot of turns, and it's a bit of a pain. But seriously, is that the biggest negative I can find? Yes, I think it is. This is a beautiful, beautiful pen. And it's an absolute joy to use. So I'd just like to say thank you so much to Conway Stewart for giving me a chance to have a play with it. So here it is, the Marilyn Munro by Conway Stewart and Henry Simple. It would be easier if I could pick up lots of holes in these things, but sometimes you just get a pen like this that is just gorgeous lovely to use really good to look at and I can imagine for a collector this would be a superb addition to any collection however there is just one reservation that I have which is that if you're in the UK you're gonna pay 116 pounds just in sales tax in VAT yeah, that means that the total value of the pen is 580, so including VAT, you won't get a lot of change out of 700 quid. But if you're a collector and you want one of these, that actually doesn't seem outrageous. It's a lot of money for a pen, 700 quid, but this is a very special pen and there's very few of them, and collectors will find this eminently desirable. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider going to the Patreon site down the bottom. There's a link, and you can help support the channel. If you've got any questions, please put them in at the bottom. I'll respond to them normally within a couple of days. It depends how busy I am. And if you enjoyed it, then consider hitting that subscribe button, Ding that bell so that you get notified when there's anything new coming through and hit the share button so that other people can hear about me too because that makes life a lot easier. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care.